Welcome to the 14th Open Art Exhibition. This wonderful community event, championed for years by the much-missed Peter Borton, former Keeper of Art at the Grosvenor Museum. I'm Cathy Putz, a board member of Chester Visual Art. It gives me great pleasure to announce the winner of this year's Open Art Prize, the wonderful Estelle Woolley, who has delighted us with her ingenuity and imaginative use of natural materials in examining the textures and finely balanced nuances of our lives today. In second place was Val Koch for her beautiful depiction of Derek Jarman's cottage at Dungeness. And in third place came Frances Broomfield for her stunning work, Petrushka. Many congratulations to all three and our thanks to the judging panel, artist Patricia McKinnon Day, Maggie Jackson, research fellow at the Department of Art, University of Chester, and Elizabeth Montgomery, senior curator at West Cheshire Museums. The exhibition is now open. Since the pandemic hit, I've been working in the community on two fascinating local museum directorships for institutions that prove the resilience of our cultural life and the optimism that art and craft generate. Through initiatives like the Arts Council's Cultural Recovery Fund, we're demonstrating why art and craft matter. More than ever at these times of crisis and how museums like the Grosvenor act as a hub for the local community, for artists, poets, makers, families and art lovers. Pre-pandemic, I held senior management roles in the UK's premier museums as head of exhibitions at the National Gallery and then on to running the V&A's massive exhibition touring programme. This connected me with the pioneering work of Chester Visual Arts, who exist to bring a regular programme of quality art events and exhibitions to Chester that will lead to Chester being known internationally for the calibre and vibrancy of its visual arts programme. Our aim is to secure a permanent home in the city, a new arts centre. My own roots are in the North West. My work nationally with regional arts venues inspired me to promote the often unrealised creativity of our communities and local networks. We are all makers and dreamers, especially when we join together around our common values. The Open Art Show reminds us of the power we have to transform our world and the inspiration we can find every day in nature, right where we are. Not far from Chester, Liverpool-based sculptor Emma Rogers is one of our local beacons of light. She produces the most dynamic, uplifting sculptures of, for example, birds that combine found objects and the creature's very environment to make our thoughts take flight, reminding us of our essential freedoms. Emma is looking to Ovid for inspiration, as are a number of our eminent poets like Michael Simmons Roberts or Alice Oswald to mark the constant flux, the change in our lives. Simmons Roberts describes metamorphosis at work in our imagination as a straightforward acceptance of magic and change. So even disruptive change can produce a flourishing as we see in this open art show. Our interdisciplinary practice is the right response to society's destabilizing unknowns. Consider the current Theasta Gates exhibition at the Whitechapel Art Gallery. His work spans ceramic, sculpture and music, informed by a deep sense of social responsibility. In the US, he's been responding to the pandemic by joining his craft to initiatives like the fashion label Citizens of Humanity with their mindful awareness of sustainability. He's true to these times by looking to humble materials in his work. Let's deflate artifice, bombast, self-indulgence. He talks about wanting to reflect the hand 
and the importance of looking at things, of discovery. That's what we have here in open art. Let's engage with it, interact with it. As Gates says, his work needs people in order to be its best self. It needs to be activated. Here in the Northwest and across the national community of museums, art venues are working without walls as truly civic spaces. That change was starting pre-pandemic and has accelerated. Sheffield Museums, for example, are part of a no-going-back programme backed by the DCMS and Arts Council. It responds to the climate crisis and the need for local community support. It uses city spaces to host important conversations around how we want our communities to thrive and what's important to us. Socially engaged artists like Ruth Ben Tovim, who has worked with the Blue Coat Liverpool, remind us of the importance of listening, sharing our stories, to encourage mutual creativity. Ruth works with craft and performance cross-generationally on co-designed spaces that celebrate each individual's contribution and surprise us with our own awareness and ability to connect with each other. The community creativity we celebrate with open art can kick-start an explosion pattern connecting us with local networks, dynamically redefining what we value. A wonderful example of this took place in the summer of 2019 when as part of the National Heritage Lottery funded Kick the Dust project, young people supported by West Cheshire Museums, including the Grosvenor, curated an online digital arts festival and commissioned a piece of public art for the subway in Winsford. When we connect around art and making, we see the deeper patterns of our lives. The No Going Back programme celebrates this. It sees us as pattern-making creatures, making deeper patterns around what we have in common. Internationally, really innovative museums like the Boymans in Rotterdam have pre-pandemic begun to seek out these new ways of working across the artificial borders of the museum and the community. Even the word museum is already outdated. The Boymans call themselves a house for imagination, inspiration and creativity. They value versatility, excellence, idiosyncratic energy, passion, openness, innovation. They call their new open access collection store, their depot, a Gesamtkunstwerk. Let's also embrace these values as we mark this exhibition opening. Let's fine tune our looking, listening and tactile skills and celebrate creativity in the Northwest. Let's excel together and dream of our own Gesamtkunstwerk, our total artwork, a cross-disciplinary synthesis of our lived experience, making work that counts. Chester Visual Arts is incubating an amazing new programme along these lines that will work across borders, across disciplines, including innovative digital work, exploring the latest immersive experiences, finding new ways to connect you with the most exciting local making and learning initiatives, inspiring us to realise our full potential. In 2022, we'll bring you a thought-provoking series of debates with our most celebrated curators and creatives those who are directly tackling present-day challenges from the climate crisis to the urgent drive for social equality. This new programme will embolden us and give us cause to celebrate the positive. Artist writer Samantha Clark reminded me recently where real joy is to be found. Through staying engaged, through active looking, exploring, cultivating our practice of noticing, celebrating and sharing what we love. These are powerful acts. This open art exhibition is about you, marking your creative potential with purpose and emotional resonance. 
It's about our mutual empowerment. We can delight in the glow of these inspiring works. They join to give us all a voice through shared experience and those invisible, meaningful, creative connections that art provides. Thank you.